It's finally 2020, so let me break down exactly how I plan to make $100,000 this year as a real estate agent. Stay tuned. Hello, my people. As you know, my name is Aram. I'm a real estate agent in the Chicagoland area, and I'm making this video to go over exactly how I plan to make $100,000 this year as a real estate agent. Piggybacking off of the video I made last year about why I didn't make $100,000 in 2019, I'm going to use same, the same lessons, same uh, kind of experiences I went through, same mistakes I made that I'm going to avoid to make sure I make money in 2020, right? Reach my goals, my financial goals in 2020. I'll start off with this. If you wait until 2020 to start working towards your financial goals for that year, you've kind of already lost, or at least you set yourself back which is what I ended up doing in uh, 2018. If you remember, the uh, big reason why I didn't really make uh, the 100K I wanted to in 2019 was because towards the end of 2018, I started slacking off with my work and that resulted in a very slow start to 2019 and then I had to get the gears cranking again to get the momentum going to where then I made the $57,000 in a six month period, right? So now, all the work that needs to get done for me to make 2020 the best year of my career, career has already been done. I've been cold calling for six months, building a very, very good and healthy pipeline with circle prospecting, expires, my uh, sphere of influence, social media, uh, etc. Going along those lines, I've already kind of set myself up for success. And that's kind of the key part of this video. So again, I'm going to hammer this, uh, this message home long term. See, in 2019, I'm thinking 2020. And right now, my business plan right now is not to make worry about how much I'm gonna make in 2020. It's about 2021. I'm gonna set myself up for next year to make sure that next year I can surpass whatever I make this year. And here's what I here's my kind of business plan for what I plan to do day by day moving on this year. And the beautiful part is you can hold me accountable and you can watch the vlogs and you'll see it in action. Quick interruption, if you're liking what you're seeing, please take a moment to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. That's my favorite thing to do is to go into these videos and see your perspective and how you took the information I provided and uh, share it in your perspective. It's very important to me. So if you could, if you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe, if you're not subscribed, and then leave a comment below so we can chat, I could get to know you, and then we can build that relationship. Because hey, you never know, I might have a referral for you. So best to build that relationship. Back to the video. So the first thing we're doing that is kind of new, and I'm not really used to it yet, is we're gonna start a podcast. It's gonna be called the Chicago Business Podcast. It's where I pretty much interview entrepreneurs that are local in my area, and I just record a podcast and put it out. Am I making this podcast to make money podcasting? No. The reason I'm making this podcast is it gives me an opportunity to speak to 55, you know, once a week, 55 new business owners who all have employees who are going to share the content, etc. So that increases my ability to make as many relationships as possible. My goal is of the 55 uh, people that I interview, I at least get a relationship going with 30 of them, right? So that's step number one. That's one thing we're going to do to set ourselves up for 2021 because it takes time to build that trust and that relationship before you start getting referrals. Moving on, we're gonna keep doing what we've been doing because it's working. I do an hour a day because I personally hate doing this. And sometimes in business, you gotta do things you hate. The whole, you know, if it doesn't make you happy, don't do a thing is great, but you also need to make money. You also have to think logically, right? So an hour a day, I sit down, I have a triple line dialer, I can call about 100 to 150 households, and that's the plan. We're gonna do that three to five times a week with the goal of reaching 50 contacts. Since I'm gonna be going into my fourth year, my, my goals for contacts are a little bit lower than they really need to be. If you're a new agent, you should probably try to hit 100 contacts minimum a week. But you see, I have a lot of business coming through social media, so the circle of prospecting is simply there to keep the pipeline afloat, right? So that's what that's there, that's like the foundation. Moving on, I'm gonna keep doing the YouTube and the social media advertising, not advertising, just content creation, and that's just gonna build the brand, and essentially, that's it. That's it, because what I've been doing, it seems to be working. You guys love the content. My clients love what they're seeing on Instagram as a, as a realtor through my perspective, and I'm getting a lot of business from a lot of avenues, and I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> so that is how we plan to make 2020 the best year of my career, and I will, conclude with this. The work has already been done. All I have to do is stay on track, stay consistent, and the money will come in. I uh, learned something recently. It's, I think, I don't know if it was Ricky Caruth or somebody said something where they were like, 
if you worry about the money, you're not going to make any, right? Because you're constantly thinking about thinking about how am I going to do this? But if you just work, right? If you just work hard and you just worry about fi talking to as many people as possible, right? If that's your only concern, let me talk to as many people as possible. That is something you have 100% control in and that will result in you making significantly more money. So my goals are not really related to like, oh, I have to close this many deals. This, no, my, my, my thinking going in, this could be right, this could be wrong, I don't know, is pretty much I'm just gonna create as much content, help as many people, create as many relationships as I possibly can, and the money will show up. I found out that this is a very simple business for all the new realtors or experienced realtors watching this. It's a very simple business. All you have to do is figure out a couple of prospecting avenues, pillars you could say, Stay consistent, do it three to five times a week over the course of a year. See, I said a year, I didn't say two months, I didn't say three months, I didn't say five months, I said a year. And then you will start seeing progress and you'll see the fruits of your labor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as you liked last week's. I'm hoping uh, that I do not drop the ball with this one at the end of 2020. I have to make a video saying why I didn't make 100K in 2020. So I hope that doesn't happen and uh, we can actually make a video saying how I did it. So I look forward to it. Thank you so much for watching my content. This has been a crazy year. I'm gonna make a separate video going over like recapping my 2019 because you won't believe the roller coaster, the personal business, everything. So I'm very appreciative for the views. You guys have given me so much uh, energy and uh, enthusiasm to keep going, moving forward. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope these videos are helpful to you. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more content. Thank you.